Hi there, and welcome to this Data Toboggan Lightning Talk, in which we'll be looking at turbocharging Power BI using Azure Synapse Analytics. So my name is Andy Cutler, I'm an independent consultant and contractor. If you scan the QR code, you'll connect to my Twitter account, so we can carry on the conversation there. So in this session, we're going to have a little look at how to connect to SQL pools. That's both the dedicated and serverless SQL pools. We'll then look at using serverless SQL pools to load external data into Power BI. And then we'll look at creating materialized views in dedicated SQL pools and why do we want to do that. So firstly, to connect to SQL pools in Synapse Analytics itself, we have two endpoints. Okay, they're visible through the Azure portal and we can connect external tools, BI tools, for example, to both these endpoints. And we've got both dedicated, where the data is stored within the database distributions itself, and we have serverless SQL pools where the data is stored externally. And we can connect both Power BI Desktop in local development to both dedicated and serverless endpoints, but also Power BI service artifacts like data flows. We can connect to dedicated and serverless. Now, when we're using serverless SQL pools, what we can do is we can connect to file-based data, CSV, JSON, and Parquet stored in Azure Storage. And we can use serverless SQL pools to connect and run queries on that data. So we can create a view which references data in a data lake. This view, for example, is aggregating data that's stored in the data lake. And then we can connect via Power BI. Now, Power BI will be able to see that view as if it was a regular SQL view. We can also create external tables and run SQL. And Power BI will be able to use a technique called query folding to push the SQL down to the serverless SQL pool itself. Now, one of the scenarios is if you have a lot of data in your data lake or as your storage that you like to crunch and aggregate and pull through into Power BI, then using serverless SQL pools will be a great way of doing this. If we switch to dedicated SQL pools, we've got a feature called materialized views. And essentially, this is a view where it's pre-calculating and storing a data set ready for use. What we can do is we can create a materialized view where we're loading data from our dedicated SQL pools table, but we're storing it within that dedicated SQL pool as well, ready for use. And again, we've got Power BI desktop and data flows in the service that can connect via direct query or importing. And again, the scenarios that we'd use this for is if we've got some complex logic where we'd like to crunch our data using the power of dedicated SQL pools into a pre-calculated data set that then Power BI can load in or just connect to in direct query mode. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more about dedicated SQL pools and serverless SQL pools, Microsoft has got some great documentation. And on my serverless SQL blog, there's a couple of articles around how you can connect to serverless SQL using Power BI data flows and also getting started with serverless SQL itself. I hope you've enjoyed this lightning session and I hope you enjoy the rest of Data Toboggan. Thank you.